proud of these two guys sitting up here with me. Um, you know, we had a tough loss at Marist. We've had a tough little run here. And at first it was Evan Fisher. He just wouldn't let us quit. And then Roman Penn really took on the challenge of playing really well, and he did. Um, without watching the tape, there were some loose balls we didn't get, and they led to three-pointers. We were in a situation where we were in sideline pressure where it should be really hard to throw the ball, and they just I see this direct pass to a three-point shooter. So I'll look at that. Some coaching decisions I have to look at. Maybe I made some poor ones. But at the end of the game, Shivers had a matchup, drive it, get to the line like they did, and the referees were fine, and we didn't convert. They converted. We didn't. So that's it. You know, I'll take any questions. But Roman Penn and Evan Fisher were outstanding, and I thought Khalil really is doing some good things. I got to watch the tape to see whether he patted the ball or not. But I will confess as a coach that I have told him to put that play away several times, and that's part of coaching youth. In other words, you can't give the referee a chance to call. Whether it, I've always felt as a as a as a coach and a player, when it looks funny. You give the referees a chance to call, and the referees, were, they were fine. It doesn't, it's not indicative of what happened. And all of a sudden, I thought he was going to blow by his guy, and there was like a, like a little funny move that I got to see. So that puts, that puts the referees in an awkward position because I know people are saying I walked off the court, he didn't turn it over, or he didn't travel, or, or double dribble, I'm sorry. So I got to watch that. But I couldn't be more proud of Evan and Roman. They're really coming along, and it's funny. The two most consistent players in our program, um, socially, practice every day, Montreal. These were our two best players in Montreal. They've been our two hardest. Right? I'm not just saying that. I'm not, no, don't play terrible next game, please. These were our two best players in Montreal, our two most consistent players, and our two guys that have really been doing well from day one in practice. They have no asterisks next to their names. We have some guys that have been, whether it's injured, played poorly, not really, and they tried to save us today. We came up a little short. We're clearly looking for one more guy. I got to figure out who it is, and uh, you know, that's, that's on me as a coach. I'll figure it out. I'll take any questions. Because we fouled him. He took 15, he was 15 to 16. Without naming names, we came out of the play, came out of the timeout and said, we're taking the lead, we're playing soft zone, we're going to get a stop rebound and go down and score. Next thing I know, some guy's trying to take a charge on him. That was clearly not a charge. It was the right call, sending him to the line. I have to have some guys that really focus in the huddle. And I mean, Greg Manning said it, I said it, Jordan Watson, who scout it was. We are coming out of that timeout, we are going to make these free throws, and we are going to have a soft 2-3 zone, pack it in, they're not going to make a shot. We're going to fly at them. Everybody's going to rebound. We're going to run down. Next thing you know, three seconds in, they're shooting a free throw. We got to stop following them. Now he's a guy who's a se he's a senior. He's only played this year. He's a guy for see we our freshmen are all playing and they get too much and all that. That guy waited his turn. So I have to watch it a little more and I got to watch the threes that came out of the. One of them was a short air ball. I know that's a hard play, the Lorenzo Charles play, but. We were in a 2-3 zone, and I, know, and I know which players were supposed to be in their area. And I looked, and one of our players was way over in another area. So that we just got to work on it. We just got to work on some stuff. Do you think Shepard was going to score on that play until Bundu came flying over? Yeah, I kind of had it. We, what we did was we had Roman in the corner and Khalil and Horn over there. So shooters, if they help, you know, I got to watch it. It's good that happens. But I went over how long five seconds is. But I wanted Evan Fisher taking the ball out, which he did, and see if Shivers, if they switched and got a big man. Evan step in, like Villanova did, have the guy trail. Evan could step in, or if he drove, they would come and they could kick it to either Roman and Roman. And I think Roman was on one side and Horn and, and Khalil were on the other side. So it's shooters. But at the end of the day, we got by the guy. You got to go to the rim. You got to get fouled. You got to dunk that for an A1. This is the Mac. You know, we got to dunk it for an A1. So. I gotta watch. I gotta watch the tape. I didn't see the replay though. When he started making them, <laughs> no. He's. I just want to make sure we go. Our whole basis of our offense, from Gary Williams to me at Loyola to my high school career with Lawrence Moton. To hear Lawrence Moten was a six five four man. I, I showed them videotape him the other. It's inside out. I like threes. I like outside stuff. I get it. But the ball's got to go in. We got. I got to see why we didn't get to the offensive last. We got to rebound. We got to get to the paint. The ball's got to go inside. We were ten for sixteen. That's outstanding. Now Evan can shoot threes. I just want to make sure he rebounds. Seriously, plays defense. 
and make sure that we're going inside with it. Now their their bigs don't really shoot it, so you you, you usually you know you know what you covet what you see every day. They're used to being inside. There's Evan out there. They're not used to going out on him, so we made it. But I, I thought he sort of willed us to, like, we're not losing, and I'm going to make some shots if I have to. So, you know, I don't want him to fall in love with the three, but it's – I've always said Bill Lambeer, whether it's him or Brett Bisping, but it starts with defense. It starts with toughness. It starts with rebounding. Then when they lay off, you can make a jumper. So I want it to be we're, – we're growing back to where we were, not – you know, it's 2017. Everybody wants to shoot threes first. Um, it's really tough, you know, two close losses, um, real tough. But, you know, the good thing about basketball is we got another one this week, another conference game. So, um, you know, just keep battling. Roman. Oh, no, it's fine. Yeah, I mean, I don't really believe in three. I mean, three games in March is a whole term for the mid-majors, but every game we play, we need the fans here Friday night. we got a really good opportunity to play Niagara. These games are building us, and you're watching a young uh, – uh, the team at the end, I mean, we don't have anybody old out there. You know, I mean, we're, we're just a young team right now. You know, Kadeem, i got to watch the shot he took. It was a tough one. It would have been nice if it went in, but Kadeem's our only old guy. I mean, Evan's a junior, but he's only played – really this year a lot of minutes prince is new roman's new shivers is a sophomore horns new khalil's kind of you know didn't play that much last year i think khalil's coming along khalil's got khalil's a nice kid i love coaching him got a lot of good swagger and nico's got to figure out how to play without you know he didn't take many shots they limited his opportunities i got to watch him on tape but I think Shivers and Nico, if I had one criticism right now, I see one rebound each. You're seniors. You know, you're know, you the players on the schedule card. This is the MAC game. Just go get rebounds. I mean, this is a do-it-all league. I love the MAC because it's a do-it-all league. And we're learning that we have to do everything, you know. Got to rebound, got to pass, got to play defense. And we're close. So, yeah, I mean, we, nobody's given up. Everything's fine in terms of that. The, the, the sh you know, you don't become a good sailor unless you're sailing rough seas, right, Roman? Yeah. So we're sailing in rough seas, and we're going to get better. But that being said, I want to win, too. We want to win. We had two chances with four minutes to go in the last two games to win, and we come up empty. We had College Charleston, we came up empty. We had Albany, we came up empty. We had Lehigh, we came up empty. I'm getting tired of coming up empty, but I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to blame. If any blame it, be mad at me. Don't be mad at anybody else. Be mad at me. Going to keep practicing hard. Going to keep recruiting hard. And this thing's going to just work itself out one way or the other. But there's no quit in us, right? There's no quit. Right? Well, no, no. So we're, we're in no, there's no, nobody's screaming and mad at each other. We're, we're pointing some things out to some people, though. But a couple guys on our team are finding out. It's funny how you feel when they're finding out it's real. I said that to singles. What that means is Marquise, Brett, Javion, and LeVon aren't here anymore. So now there's new faces that have to, and I meant on the scouting report. Like on the scouting report, it's this guy, this guy, and this guy. Well, some of our guys aren't responding like they should, which means playing really hard, doing all the dirty work, getting all the little things done, and they're finding out that there's a guy covering them when they walk out of the locker room, and they're not adjusting like they should because it was pretty easy when Marquise Wright was the first person on the board, and Brett asked everybody. He was, you know, everybody was scared of Brett when he walked in the building. Javion had a real knack for the game, and then LeVon was just his own little terminator. They're not coming back. So now the new guys are finding out, right, Roman? Yeah. That you're the guy, and that's okay. But you have to learn how to deal with it. And the best way you can deal with all that is to just compete. Just compete on the defense, to compete on the glass, compete, on this, compete for lose, just compete. And then the rest will work itself out. You know, I talked to Marquise the other day. He's doing well in Hungary. I said, I miss you. So he said, why? I said, because you're a complete fan in the ass. And he goes, I know, coach, but I loved you, and I love Sienna. He said, you know, I, I didn't realize it, but I do now. But you know what? He was a second half. Did he compete in the second half? That guy in second half of games competed. <laughs> Not all, you know, nobody's perfect. But Marquise right now, we're talking. He said, you tell them dudes, they got to compete in the second half at your level. I told them. We're working on it. You got anything for Roman? Uh, you got to play 40 minutes. You got, you know, you can't, you can't let, take a break. You got to play, compete. Everybody wants the same thing, but we're going to get better. Jimmy, in the last half of the jump ball tie-up, right? you took Nico out of the game at that point for the very last one. He took Nico the reason why he was. 
I didn't think he was playing very well. He, well, he had thrown it to him, and he turned it over. So it got that. I wanted someone who could make a jumper. I just we, – we, he got the ball there, right? He had the ball cleanly, and all of a sudden they took it from him. We were lucky that the tie-up was ours, right? So I wanted a clean play. I didn't want any, uh, you know, just – I wanted a clean – I didn't want any drop balls or anything, you know. I thought he wasn't handling the ball so well today. So I got to watch the tape. Sometimes I go with my assistants, two jump shooters, shivers. But I th we really thought Evan was going to get the ball back. And then they switched the big on, so that was fine. So we got the look we wanted. And then shivers us to finish, too, so – We'll work on it. Thanks.